If you're taking Ozempic, Wagovi, or any GLP-1 medication and you're experiencing brain fog, mental exhaustion, or you can barely think straight, you need to hear this. Your doctor told you about the weight loss, but they probably didn't mention what these medications do to your brain chemistry and how the nutrient deficiencies they cause are directly responsible for the cognitive symptoms you're dealing with. I'm David Toman, founder of Nootropics Expert, and today I'm walking you through seven essential supplements that you can use to restore your brain function while you're on these medications, plus three supplements you absolutely need to avoid. Now let's fix this. Let's start with what we're actually dealing with. GLP-1 receptor agonists, medications like Ozempic, Wagovi, Manjaro, Zepbound, were originally developed for type 2 diabetes, and now they're everywhere and used for weight loss. GLP-1 stands for glucogen-like peptide 1. It's a hormone that your gut naturally produces. These medications mimic that hormone, but at levels way higher than what your body would make on its own. Here's what most doctors won't tell you, probably because they don't know. GLP-1 receptors aren't just in your pancreas and stomach. They're throughout your body and brain, including your hippocampus, hypothalamus, and prefrontal cortex. These are regions responsible for memory formation, appetite regulation, and executive function. So when you're taking these medications, you're not just affecting your appetite, you're directly impacting your brain function. These medications work through three main mechanisms. First, they slow gastric emptying. Your stomach takes longer to process food, so you feel fuller longer. And second, they increase insulin secretion when blood sugar rises, helping regulate glucose. And third, they reduce appetite signals directly in your brain. This is the neurological effect and why you don't feel like eating most of the time. Now here's where the problems start. When your stomach empties slower, you absorb fewer nutrients from your meal because it takes longer for that food to get in your gut where most digestion takes place. And when you're eating significantly less, which most people are on these medications do, you're getting even fewer total nutrients. Your brain is the most metabolically demanding organ you have. It needs consistent supplies of B vitamins for making neurotransmitters, magnesium for neuronal function, electrolytes for cellular communication, adequate protein for brain-derived nootropic factor, or BDNF, which is critical for learning and memory, and amino acids that produce dopamine, serotonin, acetylcholine, and GABA. Cut those off, and you get exactly what people are reporting. Brain fog, mental fatigue, difficulty concentrating, memory problems, mood changes. This isn't a side effect. This is a direct result of nutrient depletion. Do I need to take supplements while taking GLP-1 meds? Yes, absolutely yes, you do. Look, if you want to lose weight but keep your brain function intact, and if you want to avoid losing muscle mass and destroying your metabolic rate, then you need a strategic supplement protocol that avoids all that. This isn't optional. This is mandatory if you want to feel good. Here are the seven essentials. Number one, electrolytes. You're eating less, which means less sodium, potassium, magnesium coming in. These meds can cause nausea and digestive issues, which further increases the loss of these nutrients. Low electrolytes directly impair neuronal signaling. That feels like brain fog. Get a quality electrolyte supplement, but not Gatorade. Real electrolyte formulations with sodium, potassium, and magnesium, like LMNT, Ultima, liquid IV, or make your own. Take this every day, especially if you're experiencing nausea or other digestive symptoms. Number two, bioactive B-complex vitamins. The B vitamins, especially B12, B6, and methylfolate, and thiamine are absolutely critical for neurotransmitter synthesis. Serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, and acetylcholine, and GABA, the production of all of these require B vitamins. Reduced food intake plus impaired absorption turns into a deficiency, and deficiency shows up as depression, anxiety, and mental fatigue. Get a high-quality bioactive B-complex. I recommend methylated forms, like methocobalamin for B12 and methylfolate for B9. These don't need to be converted in your system before your system uses them. 
I recommend the Performance Lab Bioactive B Complex. The link is below this video. And number three, magnesium. Magnesium is involved in over 600 enzymatic reactions in your body and brain. It's critical for neuroplasticity in the creation of all your major neurotransmitters. GLP-1 medications reduce magnesium absorption, and most people are already magnesium deficient to begin with. Use magnesium glycinate or threonate, or glycinate for overall brain function and sleep, and threonate if you want the cognitive benefits from magnesium because this form easily crosses your blood-brain barrier. You need about 400 milligrams every day. Take it before bed because it will also help you sleep. Number four, protein powder. This one is non-negotiable. Because you're eating less, and protein is usually the first thing that people cut because it comes from red meat and fish. But protein provides the amino acids that you need for neurotransmitter funk production. Tyrosine for dopamine, tryptophan for serotonin. Plus, you need the protein to prevent muscle loss, which is a massive problem with GLP-1 medications. Get a high-quality whey isolate, or if you're plant-based, get a complete plant protein blend. You need 46 grams of protein per day for women and 56 grams of protein per day for men. Take this even and especially when you're not hungry, because your body needs the nutrition. Number five, vitamin D. Vitamin D is a neurosteroid. It's involved in neurogenesis, neuroprotection, and immune function. And it's a cofactor in the synthesis of serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, acetylcholine, and GABA. With reduced fat intake, which you need to absorb vitamin D and less food overall, as well as not nearly enough time in the sun every day, then vitamin D deficiency is not only common, it's practically an epidemic. Brain fog, depression, immune problems on GLP-1s? Vitamin D deficiency results in all of that. You want your vitamin D levels at greater than 75 nanomoles per liter. Now, most people need at least four to 5,000 IU or international units of vitamin D every day. But you need to get your levels checked to figure out the right dose for you. Take vitamin D with a meal that has some fat or a tablespoon of unrefined coconut oil to ensure absorption. And number six, iron. Especially critical if you're a woman because of iron loss during your period, or if you're vegan or vegetarian. Iron deficiency causes fatigue, brain fog, and impaired brain function. Less food means less heme iron from meat sources, and digestive issues affecting absorption, and you've got an iron problem. If you're feeling unusually fatigued or having concentration problems, get your ferritin levels checked, which is a marker for stored iron. You want it around 50 nanograms per milliliter for optimal brain function. Supplement with ferrous gluconate because it's easier on your stomach. Take it with vitamin A and vitamin C for better absorption. And number seven, prebiotic fiber. Your gut microbiome is taking a hit from reduced food intake and slowed digestion. A healthy microbiome is essential for neurotransmitter production because 90% of your serotonin is made in your gut. GABA is made in your gut too. Prebiotic fiber feeds the beneficial bacteria. This isn't just about digestion. It's about maintaining a healthy gut brain axis. Get inulin, like fructooligosaccharides, which you can get in the Performance Lab Prebiotic, which uses Arafti Synergy 1, which is a combination of 50% long-chain and 50% short-chain inulin. This pre prebiotic really works. I love it. You'll find a link to it below this video if you'd like to try it. Now, these are the four supplements that you should avoid when you're using GLP-1 meds. Berberine, because it acts like a natural GLP-1 med. It lowers blood sugar. So if you stack them together with GLP-1 meds, you risk hypoglycemia, which is dangerously low blood sugar. That feels like shakiness, confusion, and potentially passing out. Don't do that. Chromium, because it enhances insulin sensitivity. Combined with GLP-1s, and you're setting yourself up for blood sugar crashes. Alpha-lipoic acid, because this supplement increases insulin sensitivity and increases glucose uptake, which will lower blood sugar levels. If combined with GLP-1 meds, you can decrease your sugar too low. Meal replacement shakes, because it's counterintuitive, isn't it? 
you're already eating less. So when you use one of these meal replacement shakes, then you're eating more. Get it? Use real food for the little food that you actually eat and the supplements we went through a minute ago to support what you're missing. The supplements I've recommended are generally safe and necessary for most people on GLP-1 meds. But you should talk to your doctor, especially if you have any other health conditions. A couple of examples. Iron can interact with thyroid medications, and magnesium can interact with certain antibiotics. So just keep those in mind. But here's the reality. Your biggest risk isn't from taking these supplements. It's from not taking them and developing severe de nutritional deficiencies that could have bad and long-lasting consequences. Let me be clear about what happens if you don't take care of these deficiencies. In the short term, brain fog, fatigue, mood swings, and difficulty concentrating. You'll lose weight, but you'll feel terrible. Medium term, muscle loss, weakened immune system, hair loss, brittle nails. Your body will break down muscle tissue for the protein it's not getting from food. In long term, permanent metabolic damage, osteoporosis from inadequate calcium and vitamin D, lasting cognitive impairment from chronic B vitamin deficiency. And when you stop the medication, which most people eventually do, rapid weight gain because you've destroyed your metabolic system. This is what happens when we treat medications like magical solutions without supporting the underlying biochemistry and mechanism. Look, GLP-1 medications can be effective tools, but they're just tools not solutions by themselves. If you're using them, use them intelligently. Protect your brain, support your body. The seven supplements I outlined earlier aren't optional extras. They're essential protection for your brain and body and long-term health. Your brain is worth protecting. Now, if you have any questions or you already use GLP-1 meds, leave your questions or comments below. And please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I need your help to hit 200,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And join our memberships for some great perks like monthly Q&A live streams and info and tips that I only share in our private members group. And I, if you need my personal help, the link to my calendar is below this video. Go watch my video called Hack Your Mitochondria for Peak Performance next. And thank you for watching. I'm David Toman, and I'll see you again soon.